Thank you for the warm introduction, Derek. And just to briefly kind of ex explain uh, the initiative here. So the Customer Evangelist Program at Lify was, was founded a couple of months ago with the, uh, the main objective is just to enable all firms and help you understand how to use the system to its fullest potential. So we've launched this optimization series. We'd ho we hope to um, produce a new installment every month. Uh, and the sole focus is to help you understand best practices, how to use the system in the right way, uh, and, and make sure you're leveraging everything that, that's available to you. So if you have any comments, uh, things that you feel that, that the firm could be doing better or areas of the system uh, that you'd like to see explored and, and, uh, and kind of discussed and from a best practices standpoint, feel free to let us know in the comments box below. And uh, we will take that feedback and, uh, and work with it for our future content. Um, let us go ahead and begin. So today's session is, is talking specifically about document management. Uh, right now, we are focusing on the integration between Litify and Spring CM um, specifically. And just to sort of explain the, uh, the overall agenda is we're going to go over 10 different points. Uh, it seems daunting, but, but a lot of them are quick and, and simple. And the goal here is that they're all very practical and small tidbits that uh, if you're an admin, you can go back and sort of train the firm on, and if you're an end user, you can just understand for your own day-to-day, -day, and these are things that you can hopefully use to make your lives at the firm uh, much easier and, your, and more productive. Uh, so let me, uh, I'll jump in, and what I'll do is I'll talk about each point, and then I'll, I'll kind of slip into an actual demo environment with Litify and actually give you, a, you know, sort of show you what it looks like in the system. Okay. Step one is uh, is optimizing the action menu. So the action menu, for those who don't know, is this area um, in the in the Spring CM document component, and it gives you a bunch of options of actions that you can you can leverage related to your document. Now you'll notice that if you click the arrow here, it gives you a ton more options as well, things that uh, that you may only use periodically. But step one is is a nice uh, kind of piece of information to know is that you can optimize this and you should to put the actions that you or your users are using um, every day for your documents. And the way that you can adjust this is simply by going to your Spring CM app, or in my case, just to kind of speed things along, I'm just gonna search for Spring CM content in this uh, search bar which works just as well. And it's going to take me into, into the Spring CM settings. Now you can, you can keep as many actions as you want in that area because you don't want to limit to what you can do. But what we found is that firms typically uh, only really care about a couple of specific actions like deleting documents, downloading documents, um, sending them by email, and they don't necessarily, you don't necessarily uh, want to have to dig through 20 icons to, to get to those when you can get them easily. And so what you'll notice in this section here, um, for the, you know, in the admin section, is that you just need to go down to the navigation and actions, uh, sub-navigation, um, where it says, who is this for? You're going to keep this as a count, and what are you customizing? You want to switch this to file it, which is what we call uh, the the Litify specific uh, Spring CM feature. And you'll notice you have all your icons. Now, if you don't want them at all, there's some things that you may not need. For example, cancel signature. If you're not using DocuSign, you don't need cancel signature. You may not need to edit bookmarks, so you can leave these. Um, you know, you can toggle on and off what you want, what you don't want. But if you want things to show up towards the top, let's say I, I know I'm going to be uploading documents to my folders. I want to be editing documents all the time. Edit is something that is very uh, common in my firm. You can drag things up and down, and the higher it is on your list, uh, the more prominently it will be displayed in your, um, in your matters section. One important thing to note here, because I, uh, I know that this can be a little confusing 
is that not everything in that navigation menu will show up all the time. So what Spring CM will do is it will it will give you a different set of options um, whether or not you've selected a document or not. For example, it's not going to show you anywhere to edit the document if you haven't selected a document. So if I click on this document, for example, right here, now my edit document shows up right now. Time. Sort of a, a, a useful feature. And one thing I, I think we forgot to mention at the beginning, but uh, we welcome questions and we will leave point, uh, some time at the end to answer and address as many questions as we can. Okay. Tip number two, easily download the entire file. We've gotten this request many times. A client will fire, fire the firm, unfortunately, or we'll need to, we wanna refer the case out to a, you know, to a referral partner or whatever reason, we've been gathering documents in all of our folders, and we just wanna download the entire file uh, in one shot. How do I do that? Luckily, you don't need to go into each document and manually download. Instead, this is a neat little trick. All you need to do is click the search Spring CM uh, magnifying glass. And again, if you don't see this on your navigation bar, use the tip that I showed you previously to put it on your navigation bar. It's very useful. And now without touching anything, scroll down to the bottom and hit search again. When you do this, it's going to give you a list of all the documents in that file without any folders. And from there, you can easily click select all and download. And it gives it to you in a nice uh, zip file. Very useful. Okay. Number three, searching for doc templates. Um, this one is related to document generation specifically. And some firms, especially firms that have more uh, practice areas, you'll notice that the the quantity of, of potential templates to be generating can exceed 100, 200. I've seen even 400, 500 with certain firms. Uh, the list gets sort of hard to manage when you when you want to just generate to find and generate the document that you're looking for quickly. So this is something that that many firms have enabled, but just to sort of highlight it really quickly, we have two options. You can either search for the document that you're looking for. Let's say I'm looking for the turn down letter. That option is available to you. Alternatively. Uh, let's say if, if it may be difficult to understand what the exact title of the document is called, I strongly recommend using a filter, which allows us, and I think the best way to use this would be for either case types. If let's say your comp department has something different um, than your you know, PI, I'm sure every, every department has different letters and forms they need to generate. Alternatively, we've seen ways that you can use this based on uh, where the, the case is up to, you know, pre-lit documents as opposed to turned on documents as opposed to selling the documents. Um, it's just an easy, a, a nice way to filter it. If you don't see this as part of your Spring CM right now, um, shoot us a note, supportlify.com, and we'll help you get this set up. This is definitely a, a big time saver. Okay. Tip number four, quick print. Uh, we, we've started to hear from, from a couple different firms that the process to print documents takes a long time. It usually involves downloading a document, opening it up in Microsoft Word or Adobe, and then printing it from there. Luckily, you don't have to do any of that. And I'll show you a quick trick that you can leverage to make this a lot quicker without having to download anything. And that is, um, here, let's not, this one looks like it has an approval on it. Let's say I want to download this Office 365 PDF, whatever it is. Looks like it might be a bill of some sort. Um, you, you'll notice there are two view options to choose from. Um, we have ours defaulted to PDF, and I strongly suggest that you do the same if you want to, you know, it, the documents load much quicker and it allows you to print, which I'm going to show you in a second. If you simply right click on the screen here, and hit print, it's gonna open up the print menu for you right here. And it gives you the full document. You need to download. Uh, again, this is only gonna work on the, the PDF view. It's not gonna work on the preview. But as soon as you're viewing as a PDF, you can just right click and print. Um, I'm demoing this on a Mac, but it should work on a Windows also. 
Tip number five, combining multiple documents into one. So this is a request that we've seen a few times, specifically with firms who like to compile um, packets to send out to the insurance companies, to, to the client. Um, I'll show you an example here of, let's say I have a HIPAA that I've dropped into my, uh, into my file and I wanna send this to, I don't know, I, I wanna merge the HIPAA together with, let's say my Microsoft billing statement, what a just random example here. Um, so I'm not sure if, if emails work the same way. So let's just, let's go with our Office 365 PDF. If I select multiple documents at once, and this works whether it's PDF or whether it's um, a, a Word document, you'll notice that there is an icon that shows up called Merge as PDF. You click this icon here. Let's, let's call this one, I don't know, packet with HIPAA. It's going to show me the documents that it's merging and it's going to ask me, do you want to keep the documents after I merge into one? Uh, let's keep them for now. And I'll select the, the folder, which is the default one. And it now gives me my packet with HIPAA, which just combines the two documents into one. And from there, I can print it, I can send it, I can do whatever I want. Very useful. Okay. Tip number six, template preview. So this is a, a neat little trick uh, that Spring CM sort of incorporated in one of their latest releases, which is that if I want to generate a document, and again, I have a ton of documents, I'm not super sure which one I want to use, or what, I'm not sure what the templates look like. This is particularly relevant for, um, for firms who, um, usually firms who are getting started or not, are not fully aware of what the, the new document names are that that uh, that were established during the litify implementation so if i let's say td letter i don't mean to click on it if i roll my mouse over the td letter for example i can hit preview over here and it will just give me a quick glance of what the document looks like and which what's merging into the document so that i can decide if this is a document i want to use and if it is i just hit use this template on the top this is instead of having to click through each form and then click next to the document, uh, it, it kind of saves you a step so you can, you can understand uh, quicker which document it is that you want to use. Tip number seven, Spring CM edit. Again, this one um, I should hope most firms with Spring CM are using, uh, but for those who are not, I'm just going to mention it briefly. And if, again, if this is not set up for you, uh, shoot us a note and we will you know, make sure that you have what you need because this is an essential one. Spring CM edit is essentially, um, it, it basically connects Spring CM with, um, with Microsoft Word or with, uh, with Acrobat. And what that means is that if I wanna edit this document, I click the edit button, looks like it's, uh, I actually don't need to pop up that window, I can just, uh, I can just select the document here and hit edit. What it's gonna do is it's gonna launch this little uh, Spring CM edit window. And it's gonna give me the document directly in Microsoft Word. Uh, and the nice thing with this is that, uh, is that any change that I make to this document, you know, if I, let's say, greeting Sam, um, I have the schedule. I want to type in something specifically. The depositions are scheduled for Tuesday. Um, and now I save this. I don't need to re-upload it back into Spring CM. It's automatically going to do all the saving for me. And so it's a much quicker way to edit documents and, and know that it's dynamically going right back into, uh, into Spring CM. And if I were to click this document, not only is it going to show me my edits, but it's also going to show me in the history, it captures uh, every time that it was edited as if I checked the document out, edited it, and now um, here, you can see I, I edited the document. And it tells me who did it as well. Very nifty and saves a lot of time for people who are finding themselves and doing a lot of editing. You can technically download the document, edit it, and then upload it manually, but this saves you a couple steps. 
Tip number eight, downloading PDF or native. Uh, there are times when you'll want to download a document as a, a Word document. There are times you're going to want to download it as a PDF um, to send out. So just let's choose a, you know, use this example again. The first, there, there are two different options that you can leverage with Spring CM. The first one is the regular download, which means it's going to give it to you in whatever format it currently is. If it's a doc, a Word doc, that's what you'll see. If it's a PDF, that's what you'll see. However, there is another option. Right now, it's a little bit deeper down in my icon. But it uh, looks the exact same. But if I roll my mouse over it, download as PDF. I click download as PDF. Now it's going to automatically give it to me in a PDF version, um, which is which is better in, as opposed to downloading it as a Word document and then converting it manually. Um, so two different options there of how to download documents that can be useful in different uh, in different scenarios. Okay, tip number nine. Uh, this is something a request that we've we again that we've gotten from a couple firms, which was that the um, the document viewer. Hold on a second, if my Acrobat wants a little bit of attention. Where am I? Um, the document viewer um, that we click on here, I'll just choose a random example, is great if I want to understand, if I want to preview one specific document. However, uh, let's say I want to read four documents at once. I want to pull up, you know, a negotiation as long with some, some evidence all at the same time. Uh, you can't do that with the preview. As soon as you click on another document, it will take you somewhere else. However, there, you know, one of the things to get used to with a cloud-based system like Litify, where you're looking at your browser instead of looking at an internal, uh, you know, local server or uh, on-prem solution, is that you can simply right-click, open like in a new tab, right-click, open in a new tab, right-click, open in a new tab. And just like that, you can pull up any document that you want to see and quickly tab between them and have them open all in one shot. Again, having the PDF, the view as PDF will make it quicker to, uh, you know, for the documents to actually load themselves. Okay. So last tip, um, and before we, we open the floor to, to question and answers, is something we noticed uh, that there's a, a really useful feature that a couple or the firms maybe are not leveraging as much as they should, which we strongly recommend they do, is um, the ability to to work with attachments directly in Litify Inbox. And let me just close these windows. So. There are two things you can do with Inbox that I want to show you real quickly. The first one is that if there is an attachment in a matter that you wish that you want to send out to, uh, you know, through through your email, um, you can leverage or you can pull up these documents and easily send them out as an attachment. The second thing you can do is if someone emails you an attachment without opening up list, uh, you can drop it in the right folder of the right file. And I'm going to show you that real quickly. So I'm going to compose, this is uh, Office 365. It's the sort of cloud-based version of, of uh, Microsoft Office, of Outlook. Uh, it will also work with the, with the um, on-premise client. Uh, I just figured, you know, I'd rather show it to you here. Just because I'm keeping everything in my, uh, my browser. So let's say I want to email Pam at the Okay, and I want to, Please see document attached. I want to show, um, I want to send her an attachment from that file I had. So you click this little Litify icon at the bottom, open Litify inbox. It's going to give me a little window into Litify. And from here, um, for this one, I am going to have to, because it doesn't know which matter I'm referring to right now because I haven't given information. So I'm just going to copy the matter, uh, the label. And I'm going to put that in my search bar. And I'm 
is not good enough. Okay. See if we can find the one that we want. Okay. I'll pull up this one. If there's anything in the documents. Okay. So you can see just to show you what I did here, I pulled up the doc the uh, the documents or the right matter from the Lidify and Box component. Then I scroll down, and there are a couple tabs here. Click on the one called Documents, and I could either search for a document directly from here, um, or I can click through the right folders from the matter. Let's say I'm going to click the Summons and Complaint document, and I click the little um, paper icon at the bottom here, and it quickly attaches it to my document. Oh, that looks like we're having some connectivity issues here. ZD document. You click on the on the paper clip, and it attaches it right away. And you can go ahead and send it. Um, on the the converse side, and I actually I want to show you when someone. I assume that it's going to be more common when when people are sending you attachments that you want to add to the right file. Um, you'll notice here. I I, I sent myself an email with a HIPAA form to kind of give you a sense of what this is like. And uh, a really nice thing that you can do here is you can hit the, um, here, it looks like it, it actually found the right matter in this case. But in case it didn't find the right matter, or I can click this matter. Oops. Click on the matter. It pulls up the right case that I'm looking for. And one second. Okay. I want to attach it to the right case. So I'm going to search in. Again, I'm going to search all of Litify for the right matter. Um, I think my outlet could maybe not be connected. So I'm going to just connect it again. Log in. Okay. Yeah, and just to, to talk a little bit about why this matters while Sam is pulling this up, uh, this gives you the ability to not only send emails, which you can do within Spring CM, but connect it to your active contact list and also connect it to Salesforce so that we see these activities when you're on the matter. So it will show that these emails went outbound and that they went inbound, and you can also save all the attachments easily into your Spring CM instance as well as email out those attachments. Uh, so we just wanted to highlight that this functionality is there. It gives you that extra bonus of working with your contact list that you already have saved and also having direct connectivity to the Salesforce folder and the Spring CM folder without having to go through any additional steps. Exactly. So, uh, so just to show you, here's the matter that we have pulled up. Um, if I wanted to attach this to, or if I wanted to upload this to the right matter, I would just click um, Upload Files. It's going to give me a list of everything that comes in the email. Um, so not just the HIPAA that I sent over. It's also going to send me the email file for the, um, for which is the full email. I know some people ask for the ability to save entire email um, with text and everything into a Spring CM folder. So this one allows you to do that. You click Next, uh, choose the right folder that you want. Let's say this is related to insurance, and I hit Upload, and then it just gets it gets sent directly into the matter. So uh, not only can you choose attachments within your matter to email out through uh, through Litify Inbox, you can also um, collect attachments through emails and send it directly to your matter um, without having to leave your Outlook. Okay. And that is all from me. I'll pass it back to uh, to Ryan to maybe see if we can answer a couple questions uh, in the time we have left. Great. Thank you so much, Sam. Um, that was a really great um, overview of these 10 tips that will um, really help you um, optimize and really understand your Spring CM tool. 
Um, just as a as a heads up to everyone on the call, um, this will this recording uh, will go out to everyone afterwards. So if you want to review any of the tips that Sam covered today or how to complete any of this, um, you can watch the video. Um, you'll see that shortly. And then also, if you have any questions or if you want to explore any of these features further, you can always reach out to your customer evangelist. They're there to help you as well. We did have one question come in, Sam, um, and Tim is asking if a document is overwritten, can you recover a previous version? I think that's a pretty pretty interesting question when you're working with multiple versions of the same document. Absolutely, uh, important question, and, and also can have serious uh, you know serious ramifications if you can't. And the good news is um, you'll see anytime someone edits a document, you will see the versioning. Um, and I'll give you an example. The document that we edited before, I'm going to select it um, and show you the history, and it will actually allow me to pull up different versions um, here. See, this is the previous version. I click on that. It's going to open it up for me. Um, and if I want, I can save that version as well. So it will keep every version of the document from the moment you uploaded it until um, until present time. And it will tell you who edited it um, and when they edited it. Yep, and if you're interested in restoring that version, you just have to go ahead and download it and version over top of the existing one. So if you needed, you were on version two, you needed version one, you could get to it the way Sam showed, download it and check that in as version three. So you can actually replace the version in case you ever need to go back, but you can version that over top of the existing one. Great. Um, we have uh, about a minute left in the webinar. If there's any other questions, use the chat function or the questions function um, in your GoToWebinar control panel. Um, we have Sam, our document expert, and also uh, Pam, who can answer most any questions, surely, about your documents. We want to make sure that you all have a full understanding of your uh, document management Spring CM system. Uh, one thing I want to throw out there as we wait for other questions to come in, if any others are coming in, um, these webinar series will go on monthly, so look forward to the next invitation for next month's webinar series. Uh, we're excited to bring this good content to you guys to help you understand uh, your uh, your uh, Litify platform as best as possible. You know, we really want to make sure that you guys are all uh, super users out there and you feel really, really comfortable. Um, we bring new subject matter experts um, on every month to answer your questions and just to help you understand, uh, you know, get that deeper knowledge. Um, so we're excited to um, to join you uh, next month, definitely. Um, we're at the bottom of the hour. No other questions have come in, um, so we'll uh, we'll end it here. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today. We really appreciate your time. We hope that this was valuable to you. Thank you so much, Pam and Sam and Derek, for joining us today. You guys are amazing. You did really great today, and we look forward to working with you on other webinars in the future.